Hello everybody, it is Richie here, and today I have something very, very incredibly cool to show you. And that is an obsidian generator that works in 1.8.8. Now I'm not just talking about a thing that dispenses buckets and turns them into obsidian, I'm talking about an infinite obsidian generator. Now the first mainstream obsidian generator design was right here. Basically there was a glitch in a 1.8 snapshot, and if you went like this, and put your redstone all across here, and put it right here, lava would dispense. But for some reason, obsidian would form right here, and then there would still be the source blocks of lava here, so you could just keep doing it again and again and again. But if you do it now, this happens, and uh, it is not that pretty. So after that particular glitch had been patched, people just pretty much gave up on trying to make redstone obsidian generators because they said they were impossible, because all the glitches had been patched. And they were half right. No, it is not impossible, but yes, all the glitches have been patched, which means the method we're using right here will always work, because it is not a glitch. Now you might be looking at this and thinking, Richie, this is a nether portal, I know what this is, and this does not generate obsidian. And that's where you're wrong, because if you build a brand new portal and go through it, another portal is generated on the other side. So what we're doing is fooling Minecraft into thinking there is no longer a portal by deactivating the portal as soon as we go into the nether. Now if you've been playing Minecraft for a while, you might know that breaking a portal is easier said than done. Obsidian cannot be pushed or pulled by pistons, so you can't break the portal like that. It used to be that you could break another portal with a piston, but now the piston just won't activate and it won't work. So again, people just gave up on having these automatic portals, but you can break a portal by dispensing a water bucket into it. Alright, so by now you're probably getting a pretty good idea of how this machine works. When we step on these pressure plates, the portal is created and we stand halfway between these two blocks so that we were on the pressure plates but also touching the portal. And when we went into the nether, we would leave the pressure plate and the portal would break. So when we went back, it would create a new portal, therefore creating 14 new obsidian. Alright, so I'm just going to demonstrate how this works. We're going to touch the pressure plates, and in a few seconds we're going to be taken into the nether. Now once we're in the nether, all we have to do is go back into that portal, and it will generate a new portal on the other side because the old portal broke. So we come through here, and bam, brand new obsidian. From there you can go on ahead and mine that obsidian, and as soon as that portal is broken, you can go back over here and create a brand new portal. Alright, so I've built a little bit more of a stripped down version, and this is the actual size of the machine. These um, white quartz slabs can either be half slabs or blocks, but I just put them there for a little more visibility. And as you can see, this has quite a small footprint. It only goes two blocks back from the nether portal, and this one block out front is just where your pressure plates are, and it does not intrude over the top. Alright, now before we crack on with the tutorial, I'm just going to tell you a few things about where to place this farm, because it's very easy to mess up. First of all, you can't place this farm underground, because if you do, then the portal will spawn on the surface, and you will have quite a hard time trying to get down. Second of all, don't make like a fancy hall like I did, do this outside in a flat area, because if you make something like this, sooner or later it's going to get broken. Like, I relinked the portal. So, um, if we go in here and go back out, you can see our nether portal spawns right here, and we just made a big hole in our floor. And third, but most importantly, this portal cannot be near any other portals. It has to be far enough away that if I go in this, it will not link to another portal, or else you're not going to generate any obsidian, you're just going to go to the pre-existing portal. So with that, let's uh, crack on with the tutorial. Alright, so for this build you're going to need at least 10 obsidian, 13 redstone, 3 repeaters, a sticky piston, a redstone torch, 2 stone pressure plates, 3 slabs, 3 dispensers, some solid blocks, and you're also going to need a couple flint and steels and a water bucket. Alright, so the first thing you want to do is lay out a basic portal like this. Now you're going to come around the back, place a solid block right here, and another one here, and another one there, and you're going to take out that block, that was just temporary, and make sure there's an empty space on the left. Then you're going to go over with your dispensers, place one here, and one here, and one here, all facing inward. 
After that, you're going to come up to the front, you're going to place your two solid blocks here with your two pressure plates on top of them. Then, you're going to go under skip a block and place two solid blocks like this with two redstone on them. And then we're going to come over to this side, place a solid block right here with a torch on top of it. And then place a solid block under this dispenser. Come out one here, and you are just going to run a little redstone circuit around like this and put a repeater facing into this and just do that. Now you can throw your flint and steel into that dispenser right there and when you hit this button it is just going to turn the portal on. Now we're going to go over here skip a block right there and put some redstone dust there in facing into the sticky piston with a block on top of it and then we're going to put a block right here with a repeater set to the default one tick setting. Then we're going to put a block right here and a block right here, and a block right here, and put two redstone right there, a slab there, redstone on top of that slab, a solid block with a repeater set to four ticks, and then we're going to come around here and put a solid block, and another solid block, put our redstone right here, and then a repeater set to one tick right here, and some redstone there. Now, all you have to do after this is go like this, put a slab here, and a slab right here. Um, so we're going to put a redstone there, and a redstone there, and in this middle dispenser, we just need to throw in our water bucket, and then our build is complete. Alright, so I think we are completely done teaching you how to build this quick little obsidian generator. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like. If you want to see more videos like this, hit that subscribe button. Um, we're going to be doing quite a lot of tutorials on this channel over time, and, uh, yeah, you should also check out my Let's Play, uh, it's called Richie's World, and I usually showcase all my redstone builds on there before I do tutorials of them. So, this has been Richie, and I will see ya. Bye, guys.